What's up? I'm back. What the hell is 200 amps of service? Why you should upgrade your electrical service? Um, honestly, I, I sell a lot of homes and a lot of times this is one thing that the sellers cheap out on um, because lately it's been a, a pain in the ass in, in many ways. Um, getting a 150 amp or 200 amp panel, getting a 150 amp or 200 amp service upgrade is hard to find. You're, you're going to, uh, the, your electrician is going to warehouses, trying to f supply houses, trying to find a 200 amp panel and service, especially when it's like a two family or more. It's really hard to find nowadays, ever since COVID. So a lot of times sellers don't do this and this is an expense that you have to incur if you're buying a house with only 100 amps of service. In the world we live in today, everybody has TVs. You have two TVs, you have one a TV in every room. You have GFCI outlets, you have a fridge, you have a dishwasher, you have a washer dryer. 100 amps for an entire house just simply isn't enough. 100 amps for a single family is no longer enough. So imagine a two family or a three family. So that being said, this is a legal three family. It's still considered residential. So we decided to upgrade the service to 200 amps. So a 200 amp service between one meter in every floor and a house meter in the basement, along with the service upgrade on the outside and new meters being moved to the outside, that costs $10,000. I ordered the tower, the meter tower, and the service upgrade two months ago. They're saying it's coming in January. We're in August right now. So just think about the amount of meticulous timing you have to do when you're, when you're planning a renovation like this and, and, and the times you have to wait. So something to keep in mind if, you're, if you do plan on upgrading your electrical service, it's not a quick order it and it's done type of project. You know, we actually have the permit already to do the electrical upgrade and we paid the electrician for it already just because I have a relationship with him. So the framer framed out everything except for this portion because the workers, this is hot, so I'm not gonna touch it, but um, the workers needed s service. They needed to power their tools. So we gave them one, uh, one electrical outlet on each floor. Once the panel comes in and the service comes in, all this is getting eliminated because this is garbage. And the only thing left here will be a house meter. And that house meter will control everything on the exterior lights. And since the basement is included with the first floor here, it's, it's not gonna be included in the house meter, but normally your house meter will include the, all the electrical for the basement and the exterior lights. So something to keep in mind. And in order to get a proper green card from the state of New Jersey, wow, I should tell you what a green card is, but I won't, there's too much information in the video. But um, look up what a green card is from the state of New Jersey. It's not the green card that you think, but in order to get a green card from the state of New Jersey, which is a five year state inspection, you have to have a house meter and you have to have separated electrical. Actually, you don't have to have separated electrical, but there has to be a house meter so you're not charging the tenants for the common area electrical. So please, if you have a 100 amp service, upgrade your service. It adds value to your house, but it's, all, it's also much safer for you and your family. If you guys have any questions about electrical 200 amp services, or if you wanna sell your house, or if you wanna have a buyer's consultation, or if you're renovating a house and you need somebody to help GC it maybe, please reach out to me today. And more importantly, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.